Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to define what is corporate finance and some of the important terms that are related to corporate finance. So, corporate finance is a study of ways to answer the three important questions. Question number one is what long term investment should you take on? That is, what lines of business will you be in and what sorts of buildings, machinery, and equipment will you need? Question number two is, where will you get the long term financing to pay for your investment? Will you bring in other owners or will you borrow the money? And the question number third is, how will you manage your everyday financial activities such as collecting from customers and paying suppliers? So these are the very important financial management questions. The corporate finance is concerned with answering these important financial management questions and it is the responsibility of financial manager to answer these questions the three questions we raised earlier are the broad financial management decisions and the first financial management decision is capital budgeting second one is capital structure third one is working capital management i'm going to describe these in greater detail capital budgeting is the process of planning and managing a firm's long-term investments and in this financial management decision, the financial manager tries to identify investment opportunities that are worth more to the firm than they cost to acquire. It is the responsibility of financial manager to make decisions and identify opportunities that create more value for the firm than they cost to acquire. Number second financial management decision is capital structure. And again, that is related to the how will the firm finance its long-term assets. As a specific mixture of long-term debt and equity the firm uses to finance its operations. And here it is the responsibility of financial manager to find out how much should the firm borrow and what are the least expensive sources of funds for the firm. Making the right decision about capital structure is very important for the firm. Number third financial management decision is about working capital management. The term working capital refers to a firm's short term assets such as inventory and its short term liabilities such as money owed to suppliers. Managing the firm's working capital is a day to day activity that ensures the firm has sufficient resources to continue its operations and avoid costly interruptions. And here in this financial management decision, Financial manager must answer how much cash and inventory should we keep on hand? Should we sell on credit? If so, what terms will we offer? And to whom will we extend them? How will we obtain any needed short term financing? So these are some of the minor questions related to the working capital management decision. And now something about Sarbanes-Oxley Act. In response to some of the biggest corporate scandals at companies such as Enron, WorldCom, Tyco and Adelphia, Congress enacted the Sarbanes-Oxley Act in 2002. The act, better known as Sarbox, is intended to protect investors from corporate abuses. For example, one section of Sarbox prohibits personal loans from a company to its officers. And after this, I am going to describe agency relationship. As you know that one of the striking features of large corporations is that stockholders are not involved in day-to-day -day activities of the corporation. That's why board of directors hire managers to manage day-to-day -day activities of the corporation. The relationship between stockholders and management is called an agency relationship. Such a relationship exists whenever someone, the principal, hires another agent to represent his or her interest. Whenever there is an agency relationship, there is a possibility of agency problem as well. Agency problem is defined as a conflict of interest between the principal and agent. And with the agency problem comes the agency cost. The term agency cost refers to the cost of conflict of interest between stockholders and management. These costs can be direct or indirect. One of the important concepts of corporate finance that is cash flows to and from the firm. And this diagram shows the flow of cash flow to and from the firm. A firm is start by selling the securities in the financial markets. Those funds are then invested in the firm's assets current assets and fixed assets and then by running the operations of the business firm generate cash flow that in turn goes to the government in terms of taxes and other stakeholders such as employees part of that cash flow goes to the firm again as reinvested cash flows and another part of that goes to shareholders in the form of dividends and goes to the creditors in, in the form of debt payments so this was all about corporate finance and the and some of the important terms related to corporate finance. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider to subscribe my YouTube channel and I desperately need your feedback so that I can further improve my content.